Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video, and in today's video we are versing a Barbarian squad that was seen a lot in Clan Wars. The issue with this squad is that people didn't always have their Artist squad to verse this, and without your Artist squad or Blue Artist squad, it can be quite difficult. I believe Blue Artist even had some trouble fighting this. So I've created a backup squad you can use if you do find this team in the Clan Wars. I've Battled this team 20 times using the team I'm about to show you. The win ratio is on the screen. 3 stars, 40%, 2 stars, 10%, 1 star, 10%, loss ratio, 40%. So if you find this team in tournament, I would not verse it using the team I'm about to show you. So the team that we are going to fight is Danea, Swamp Killer, Balara, Silvermoon, Azariel. Has a lot of invulnerability, a lot of healing, and with the Danea leadership, it can do a lot of damage as well. So we'll go over into the arena, I'll show you the team I'm using and how to fight it. So going into the battle, we're using Gloriana as our leader, Wukong, Rock, Suna, and Lucky. Lucky most likely is not going to offer a lot to this team because she will be focused by the enemy, but that is okay, we have Gloriana for healing as well. Why we bring Lucky, however, is because the enemy, we want them to focus the Lucky over the Rock. If we do not have Lucky and we put another damage dealer in the team, they will target Rock, it's not going to be helpful for you. So you're going to start by using Monkey Rage on the enemy Silvermoon. They're going to hit Lucky. We're going to hide. Can't touch this with our Suna. And then we're going to freeze the enemy with Rock. We didn't get the Swamp Killer. If you get the Swamp Killer, that's awesome. But mainly you just want the two healers at this point. We are going to... We're just going to auto attack with Heaven's Flash because that has the chance of applying the buff to one of our allies that allows, I think it's someone to counter attack or assist attack, support attack, whatever it's called, which is extra damage. So now we are going to just use our AOE, which is going to guarantee crit because we used our monkey rage before, and then we're going to hit her again and trigger the Azario mark. Now, at this point, you want to determine who has the least health, Swamp Killer or Denea. Whoever has the least amount of health is the person you want to kill. Now we can taunt with Suna, but I am not going to. I'm just going to attack, and we are going to take out the enemy, Denea. Beautiful. Okay, our next target will be the Swamp Killer. We want to take... It's Swamp Killer or... Silver Moon. This, like I said, this fight is very dependent on what happens in the fight. It can change drastically. All crits can, if you crit Swamp Killer, for example, over Denea, Swamp Killer is going to have less health. It can be very touch and go. That's why it isn't a 100% win rate. Because if you don't crit, you lose a lot of damage. We are actually going to go for Silver Moon. If we can take Silver Moon out, that would be awesome. We are losing a lot of HP now. We're going to freeze the enemy. Unfortunately, we didn't freeze the Silver Moon and she triggered the invulnerability. This is when we're going to move over to the enemy Swamp Killer because she's so quick that invulnerability is going to wear off her really quickly. As you can see, it's already gone, whereas it's still on all the other characters. So we can very easily take her out. At this point, it's a three-star win for us. If you lose any character while Swamp Killer or Denea is up, that's when everything starts to go downhill. At this point, you can just put the auto target on the Silver Moon and press auto, and the AI will clear it all up for you. You are going to finish this battle on full HP. With all the critting, you are just going to keep healing. It will take a bit of time to take out the Azariel because you are healing so much. As you can see, Azariel just heals up. But once you take out Silver Moon, the enemy will just fall. So she falls, and as you can see now, Azariel falls. Lots of healing. It's just a weight game. So once you've got full HP though, your crits can't heal, and that's where Azariel stops healing. And you win the match, three stars. It just takes some missing crits to really turn this battle around and let the enemy win. If you don't get that damage out with Suna, it just it's horrible. It's a horrible fight. It's crit dependent, which is RNG. You can't control crits. But with the AoE from Rock, there's a high chance that you're going to get a crit on someone. Wukong has the guaranteed crit when you use his Monkey Rage, so his AoE will crit everyone as well. Which means that Suna will get the support or the, the support damage out. 
with Rock going before the Wukong as well, you're getting the stack on the Denea and the Swamp Killer. The Swamp Killer is the important one because with the stack on Swamp Killer, she can't dodge, which gives you better chance to damage her. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll answer to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.